just going back to uh, the, the, they're custom made for your ears, for your ears only. Mm-hmm. Um, it's probably a song in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, how was the process for you? We discussed in in another video, uh, and there is another video on Icing Magazine, um, and we discussed this with Paul Checkley from Holly Street, hearing about taking a mould. Um, but do you want to, from your point of view, as as an artist having your ears moulded, do you want to just take us through what it was like for you? Did you? You're having the stuff uh, squirted in your ears? Yes, it was a doddle. It was a I'm doddle. Thinking, well, <laughs> well, well, I was thinking, my my eardrums, you know, my eardrums, but mm. but it was so easy, and, mm. and, and, and I like the more, and then it's like, and then did not keep it for, in for so long. So it didn't hurt like, at all. No, no, darling. Oh no, mm. it was fab. <laughs> it's cool for the gel thing going in the ear and then, then coming in and you say, oh, is that what my ear looks like? Yeah, it you is know? interesting yeah, actually seeing the, the shape of it. I think yeah. I did, did did your ears. Yeah. Yeah, how did you find it? Uh, but, yeah, interesting to say the least. <laughs> yeah. Just to have somebody stick a needle in your ear and then all of a sudden your hearing yeah, goes yeah. goes quiet. That yeah. was, that was mm. interesting. But yeah, Look, yeah, painless. A lot less painless than I thought it was going to be actually. Oh. Bless you. Yeah. Um, and of course, you with were a, gentle. A, a, ACS uh, in ear monitors, we, we actually we create a three D model of your ears. Mm. So we have your ears on file digitally. So we scan it with a laser, awesome. create a three D model, yeah. and then we three D print that to make the mould for your for your ear doing, monitors. Yeah. But say if you had a problem with your ears, or you say you wanted another set made, we can just remake them. So we've got your ears on file digitally. So we keep them on file oh. for four years, which is not. Nice. Uh, ACS are made from a soft. Uh, medical grade silicon, which we're one of the only manufacturers, um, leading manufacturers that, that do that. Because obviously as you sing, um, uh, your ear canals move. So, they, so as you're opening your mouth and singing, your yes. ear monitors, which you don't get obviously with the hard acrylic uh, mm. products, you don't d- don't get that movement. Because obviously as, you, as you're yes, singing and moving your mouth, yeah. your ear can, it, it varies from, from different people's anatomy. Some mm. people don't get that problem. Um, some people we do, I think with you, we did an open jaw impression. Yeah, I drooled all over the place. You did, <laughs> you did, yeah. We discussed this in our other video with Paul Checkley from Harley Street Hearing, is that with singers, you can have an open jaw impression. So when we take the mould of the year, we actually have uh, with your mouth. mouth. So different in-ear monitors uh, have different speakers inside. So um, a bit like a hi-fi speaker, you've got a, a woofer and a tweeter. You can have different okay. speakers. Obviously, the more speakers you can have a crossover where different speakers um, are responding to different different frequencies. With ACS in ear monitors, because they're so small, and to get that um, high fidelity uh, flat frequency response, we have what they're called balanced armature speakers, which is instead of like a uh, a speaker cone, like a speaker that goes in and out right. and vibrates. Mm-hmm. We actually have uh, balanced armatures, like a little finger that sort of um, creates the, the sound waves. So we have a range of in-ear monitors. Um, one speaker, which is just like... Is that what that, that, that means? Because I've got three... You've got three. three so you've so got three, just, three, speakers, three speakers. So you've got oh. one for the bass, very low end. You've got one for the mid-range frequencies okay. and one for the high okay. frequencies. Okay. The benefits of that is that it... It gives you a more high fidelity sound because one speaker is not trying to produce all the, all of those frequencies in one know, go. Okay. So yeah. you've got three I've speakers. Got three. I think you you wanted the top of the range ones. You went for five. five yeah. And and I think also Rodney, you tried you've tried a range of different uh, speakers. Yeah, I've systems. tried all of them. So I think. Can you just talk through what the difference is between single driver, triple driver, or, five driver? Well, it'd be this frequent frequency response, obviously. Mm. Um, these when I when I when I first got these sent to my house, I, the first thing I did was plug them into my studio to test them against my my two hundred pound AKG earphones, my, right? Okay. The ones that I use for the studio, um, mostly just to check the frequencies, make sure everything was was the same. And yeah, it's the same. I would I could mix on these. I think really? I haven't mixed on them yet, but right. I would I would mix on them. Um, I am going to start using them in the studio, in particular for the um, isolation. Okay. Um, for when for when I'm recording stuff where I want to drop all the instruments out and just have the vocals, right? Because there's no headphone bleed from these. Whereas when I record with my my normal headphones that I use in the studio, you get, you get headphone out, bleed. Yeah. yeah. Open back or close back. Yeah. Ones, you still get a bit of. Yeah. Even the close bit. back ones are going to have a bit. And most people when they are in the studio, they just cup one over their ear anyway, mm-hmm. so they have a, a loose loose speaker going that's just mm-hmm. going down the microphone and, and cluttering the uh, the sound that's being recorded. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you just put one on your ear so you can pitch to your, your normal voice in studio so you don't have the latency. Whereas with this and the live system, you don't have any latency at all because you have the, the microphone, yeah. which you haven't actually gotten to that yet. <laughs>